everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new AEW action figure review on the Walmart exclusive AEW Supreme Collection Cody Rhodes figure. Now AEW coming at us with more store exclusive figures and this time it is a Supreme edition. We have our Cody figure and this means that we have four different Cody's in the Supreme line because you guys know that the Supreme line is where we get two different gears. Now this is not something you can get on Ringside Collectibles. Ringside Collectibles however is doing their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales right now. So if you guys want to go over there right now, use promo code MDTOYS to get an additional 10% off of the crazy sales going over there. Do not use the free shipping code. It'll take a year and a half to get to your door. Use code MDTOYS, get an additional 10%. Now getting into this figure, man, very excited to finally have these. My Walmart could, wasn't getting them forever, and they finally got it here. But we have Cody in the front viewing window. You guys can see the red gear underneath. And then on the side, we do have the interchangeable arms. And then we have the gray, teal, and silver attire going on right there. And if you guys were wondering, on the side it says Series 1. It has the number sign with 1B in there. So I guess you have the number 1 Cody and then you have the 1B Cody. But here he is, very similar to his last Supreme. But it is a little bit different. You got the interchangeability over here. You got a shirt that is different as well. Supreme Collection logo down here. On the back you get Supreme Collection. Looks like this is from Dynamite Grand Slam. Picture of Cody, Cody Rhodes signature. Watch AEW Dynamite, of course. And that is pretty much our Cody Rhodes Supreme Collection figure. Man. What we're going to do is crack Cody Rhodes out of his packaging, take a look at him on the rotating base, and then we'll dive into the review. Alright guys, so here's the Walmart exclusive Supreme Edition Cody out of the packaging. Liking what I'm seeing, you know, we're getting basically kind of a repaint here, but I am excited about the stuff, and I do want to compare the two to see the changes in the regular edition and the Walmart exclusive edition. And if you guys were unaware, we do have a Walmart exclusive Kenny Omega coming soon that is completely different. Like, they did different tights and, like, a different interchangeability. We get, like, a new jacket. Some things I wish they would have done with this Cody compared to his original Supreme Edition, but I'm all for new figures and you know getting some more Cody's in here and getting some more playability interchangeability all those different things getting a couple new gears in there before he made his way out the door I'm, I'm all for it man but with all those things being said man let's dive into Cody Rhodes accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the figure itself all right man so getting into the Walmart exclusive Cody Supreme Edition accessories you get a lot because it is a Supreme Edition you guys know how this works just like Ultimate Edition Supreme Editions do come with the goodies now you get three interchangeable head sculpts here is the small smiling head sculpt and it looks like he's looking off to the left I don't remember the last one doing that but the likeness is decent I think he's had better head sculpts you know the yelling expression and the smiling expression from his previous figures I think honestly looks better than this one but I think the likeness to Cody is there I like the hair sculpt it's just these head sculpts are kind of I don't know they just don't look as good as previous ones here's the smiling one kind of looking straight ahead very similar except the mouth is is open slightly and I don't know they're not bad head sculpts they just don't they're not as good as other ones I think he has better head sculpts in the unrivaled line from AEW and Jazzwares. This one's probably my favorite one. I think it has the best expression. It doesn't have like off-centered eyes or anything. You got the screaming expression. Very nice sculpt and everything. This is my favorite one. I like this one the most out of the three, I would say, but the hair sculpt is good. The colors are nice. The eyes are painted on well. This one's easily my favorite one. Yeah, there's no doubts about it. Now, outside of that, you do get two different belts. You have the American Dream belt right here, Cody Road, as you guys can see there, but he's got the flag. He's got the American Dream on there. Here's the S over there. Got Double or Nothing logo right there, so you get the one weight belt. Definitely sculpted better than the Mattel Hulk Hogan ones. And then the other belt option you get is the Nightmare with the you know the Cody Rhodes logo and it does it's just solid black and it has you know American Nightmare or Nightmare on there with his logo. So you get two different belt options here which are different than the options we got with his last Supreme Collection I'm pretty sure. His last Supreme Collection I think had the American flag one but this one was white with black text instead of black with white text. You also get an AEW microphone because of course you do. If anybody's been here on the channel you know what I'm talking about. About. You get three pairs of interchangeable hands. He does have his ring finger tattoo, and then he also has his hand tape on the right side. So you have the fisted hands. And then in your two different sleeve options, I already have the hands attached. So you do get these like grippy slash mic holding hands. The, the jacket sleeve entrance arms have these, these hands attached to them. And then his bare arms have the more grippy or like C grip hands that actually look like they're for mic holding. So this is like your object holding, mic holding, and then these hands are more of like a grappling style. You also get a Velcro shirt 
shirt, which is going to be the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes Navy shirt right here, which is cool. I'm glad they included this. I'm, I'm glad to have another shirt in the collection. I don't know if it'll stain, so I just left it, the cardboard in there. I'll probably look at it on the figure later, but I'm not going to do it for a, a long period of time because I, I genuinely don't know if it's going to stain, and that's kind of sad, so I'm going to leave it like this, but it's a very badass looking shirt, so that's cool to see. Now, one of the cool features about the Supreme Collection is he does have his entrance jacket, and he comes with the interchangeable arms, so similar to the Ultimate Editions, you know, you pop that into the torso, and if you guys want to put this on the figure, you guys already saw it on the figure, but you would wrap it. It is the exact same, by the way. This is the exact same jacket we got with his first Supreme Edition, but you'll wrap it around the torso, and then you'll come over here, and you'll plug the arms in just like that, and then coming to the other side, you'll plug that in like that. So that's how you put the jacket on there, and then you do have your two different gear options over there that we'll take a look at, but that's how you operate the jacket. But it is the exact same jacket. If you were wondering, it is the exact same jacket from his first Supreme Collection. So there's no nothing new going on, but it does have nice coloration. And yeah, I, you know, I call it his George Washington entrance jacket. It just reminds me of George Washington or something, right? It's got all the America colors and it's very major glory-esque. It looks very nice, but it is the exact same as his first Supreme Collection figure. Now attaching the gear to his torso right here, you guys know that if you didn't know, you can easily plop this off. You have your one gear option and then you can plug it into the other gear option. That's what makes AEW figures so nice. But taking a look at these gears and their own stuff, you do have the red gear right here that does have the gold and white and black going all the way around. Very clean gear. Again, reminds me of George Washington or Major Glory or just very America-esque, but I love all the coloration. It looks very good. I, I think they just look so fantastic. I'm glad to have multiple options as well. You guys know, as a guy who likes to, you know, surgery and fix up and interchange figures and swap them around, this is, you know, uh, one of my favorite things about collecting. So that is what I love, and I think that these types look really badass. I like the boots. You got the Nightmare boots here. I think they do have the same exact boots here. Yeah, they have the exact same boots, but here's the other option, which is going to be these teal and gray tights, which look really sick. He's got his scale. You know, it's the same Cody Rhodes style attire with his logo over here, the stripes over there, and then the same stripe on the crotch, but you do get like this half light blue color, and then you have this like pewter gray sort of color going on right there. A little bit of marbling and stuff right here on the upper hip, but it still looks very badass, and I, I like it. I think it all comes together well, and I'm sure you can take all of our different Cody Rhodes figures, swap them around and change them around and get your own gears and boots and stuff that would really make the figures even better to be honest with you. So if I see this figure at retail, I think I bought three of these, one for each gear option and then I wanted one of them in on card. So if I see it again, I may buy another one just to, you know, just to have these tights and play around with different attires and displays for the Cody's. But I like both options. They both look super badass. If I had to pick one, I don't know. We'll get into some comparisons in just a moment though. So here is the Cody on the red tights just standing here. You know, he doesn't have his weight belt on there, but I think the torso looks really good. If you guys were unaware, he does have the butterfly joints right there. He has his American Nightmare logo tattoo right there on the neck, and then you do have the Dream tattoo right there, which looks good. And I think the sculpture and all the stuff on the torso does look good. Now, as far as his articulation, he can look all the way up, all the way down. The joints on this guy are really fantastic. Like, there's not really a pose you can't get him in here. It goes above 90 there. He can go full 360 there. Bicep swivel. Very good butterfly joint. He can touch his other shoulder, and he can reach all the way back right there, which is very good. I'm not getting any looseness or anything, which is really awesome. Like, everything feels really clean. He's got a really great ab crunch, as all AEW figures do. He can split. He can kick forward pretty damn good right there. Look at that kick forward. Double jointed knee. He does have upper thigh cut, boot cut, toe articulation, ankle pivot. I mean, this guy can, uh, he can pose around, man. No stone left unturned with the pose ability of this Cody, but I do want to see some figure comparisons right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up all of our Cody that we've gotten from AEW and Jazzwares and excluding the chase from Series 1 and the chase from Series 4, I do believe I have every single Cody Rhodes that we've received from Jazzwares. So for your Cody Rhodes figure comparisons, guys, here is all of our different Cody's that we've received from AEW and Jazzwares, excluding the interchangeable gear from this figure that we have today, the interchangeable gear from the Supreme Collection that I could easily just, you know, put a torso on. I have extra Cody's, they're just not out of the packaging. And then, of course, the loose unrivaled series four in the gold tights i'm missing and then of course the coveted one of 500 chase from the series one figure still missing that one that i'll track down one day however you have the unmatched series four the unrivaled series one the uk exclusive AEW ring figure the supreme collection series one the walmart exclusive supreme collection the tnt champion ringside exclusive the unrivaled series four the ringside exclusive blood and guts two pack the unrivaled series one b and then the unmatched series four chase in the gray suit Unfreaking believable. All these Cody's we've gotten. And we
we still have the Mattel versions that are coming. We have the Ultimate Edition coming. We have the Basic that just released. We have the Elites that are coming soon, and you know they're going to be pumping out Elites like it's going out of style, man. They're going to give us every Cody imaginable, and uh, it's unbel it's kind of crazy, man. It's it's truly insane what we've seen and what, what we're going to be getting in the future. Nonetheless, that's all your Cody Rhodes figure comparisons. Now, one thing that is cool is just all the interchangeability. Of course, like, you could take this off, and you can plop on any torso you want, but just having all these gears, man, it's just insane. And look, it's just some legs that just chill in there, and you can just plop in whatever you want. And then, you know, you can take your Supreme Series 1 right here, plop this off, and now you have another... Look at this. This is all four Supreme Collection pants. This is all four Supreme Collection pants up next to each other. You could take it a step further and take these American flag boots and put them on the red pants, or, or the red and gold pants, or maybe you want to take the UK exclusive figure right here, take these red boots and put them on the red pants, or put these on the blue pants, or take these America boots and put them on these silver, you know, sort of American looking pants. My god, my head is spinning from all the options, but I do need multiple copies of certain figures to make these things happen, which I, I probably should just for surgery's sake, just so we can see what they look like. However, uh, I'm having a ton of fun with the Jazzwares line. It sucks that AEW won't be making any more Cody's, but my god, I think we have a littered abundance of options from AEW and Jazzwares when it comes to, to Cody Rhodes action figures. And then here is the shirt on the Cody with the red pants and his belt. It looks really damn good, I'd say. I think this looks really good. If you guys were wondering what that looked like, I wanted to get this in here before we took a look at Cody on the rotating base in the other tights. So here is the Cody in the shirt. I like it, man. I think it looks badass. And God, man, makes me just want to spend a couple hundred bucks on a bunch of other Cody's to get a bunch of pieces in here so that I can do all this surgery. It may be something I look at, man. Yeah, probably get, I'm going to do it. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Walmart exclusive Supreme Edition Cody Rhodes figure review. Had a ton of fun with the review. I always enjoy AEW figure reviews here. Unless they have the tight arms or, you know, the looseness going on, but I'm liking this. Enjoyed the first Supreme Cody. Enjoyed this Cody. You know, I don't think it's necessarily something that you must have if you missed out on the first Supreme Cody, but if you guys did miss out on the first Supreme Cody, you see this at your Walmart, go ahead and grab it, man. Really excellent stuff going on. I love all the playability, interchangeability. You know, especially if you get your other Cody's involved, you can even mix in some other stuff with those other Cody's, putting on different head sculpts and different shirts and things like that, so that's really fun. Create your own mix match Cody's and create your own attires and things like that. I think that's really awesome. Nonetheless, man, I had a ton of fun with today's review, and I think you guys should grab this figure if you're interested, but I don't think it's must-have, you know? I don't, I don't think you're out here with must-have, just, you know, if you're a Cody completionist, you really enjoy Cody, go after it, you know, I think, you know, the more the merrier with the display, I think it makes the displays more epic. You know, if you want a certain gear, go for it. You know, it does come with the shirt, which is also super badass. I don't know if it's going to stain or not, so you know how that is, but I'm enjoying it, and that, that's really all that matters, but I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this Walmart exclusive Cody. If it hit my area, it probably is hitting yours, so definitely be on the lookout, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time. You cross